Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. Oh, it's a strange weather here because yesterday when we went to bed, we have minus 17 degrees. And today we have plus two and it's raining. But when the weather is gray, we can talk about the budget for our trip. But before that, now I will go to the city center and buy a humidifier. Follow me. What is the best way to start a day with a kid? <laughs> so today I am at the city center because I'm going to buy a humid humidifier because it's very dry inside our apartment right now and we need some moisture. So follow me. So now we're going home and see if we can start it. In order to make a budget, we should know how many days the whole trip takes. Therefore, we have to make a detailed time planning. We then use the stages suggested on the Gronse.com website. When we did the time planning, we discovered that if we were to hike all the way to the end of the world, it would be difficult to keep the length of the day stages under 25 kilometers. We would manage to reach the goal in 16 hiking days, but then we would exceed the planned numbers of days as it was 14 plus one. We therefore also made an alternative plan with its own stages. Those of you who have followed us before know that Camilla has pain in her body every day, in her legs, joints and muscles, and that she does exercises every morning to make her feel good. Then she is also relatively stubborn, and that's an advantage when the body is struggling a bit. This means that we should not plan long stages at the beginning, as we know from experience that her ability will improve as time goes by. At the same time, we have to take into account that she need to do her exercises every morning and we therefore know that we are usually the last to leave the hostels when we start our hiking days later than many others. It also means that in order to reduce any stress over finding beds, we should book some hostels in advance. We both want to keep flexibility, so we only book a few at the beginning of our hike and maybe a few hostels where we know there are fewer beds. All so that we can have as a good hike as possible. So when we made an alternative plan, we found out that to Saria we wouldn't be able to save any hiking days and to reach 14 plus 1 hiking days we then need to hike quite long days after Saria. This is not what we wanted, so we decided to either skip the journey to the end of the world this time, or add another two hiking days, and then have 16 plus one in our schedule. We decided to add two hiking days. So now we plan based on that to hike for 16 days and have one rest day if needed. This hike will be Camilla's longest ever, so we will have a challenge partly in the length and the fact that Camilla has not hiked certain stages before, which we think will be both fun and exciting. I can say already now that we will review the length of the day stages against what it suggested at Gronsø.com, but that we will do that during our journey, depending on how we feel, 
can avoid injuries and other things that uh, are out of our control and can happen along the way. So I'm back home, but before we unbox this, we need to measure the humidity. And for that, we need this. We have now made a simple budget based on our experience from hiking for 10 years. It's not an exact budget, but it gives us an idea of how much money we need to save for our hike. As you can see, we haven't chosen many exclusive options. We expect to be able to stay in hostels, mostly, and eat the menus offered uh, along the way, or uh, we intend to shop at the supermarket. We are relatively simple people who are happy with the simple life. That is what we believe makes our trip what it is. We already have a lot of equipment that we can use, that we bought before, so it's not in our budget this time. Just the equipment that we need to supplement. And yes, sometimes I spend my money on the gear. But we are all different personalities, and if you want to make other choices, just add it to the budget. Now am I tired of the city, so let's go out to the forest. This is cool. On this side you can see the moon and at this side you can see the sun. Yeah, this is my fantastic daughter. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> it's broken. Yeah, it's broken. How would I know when you're filming or not? <laughs> it's three o'clock. Three o'clock. Oh, great. In the afternoon. Yeah. Yeah, the moon is full. Mistletoes. What is it? Mistletoes. Ah. You have They're to kiss under. They're growing free here. <laughs> kiss under them. Yeah. What do you say? <laughs> They're growing free here. Yes. You're not allowed to... Pick them. No. No. It's our... Yes. Com the community's... Now uh, you can try and translate that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Landskapsbloma. Yeah. Uh, it's the flower of our region, maybe. Thanks. She's a teacher, so <laughs> she, she should know. <laughs> uh, 
that is my youngest daughter, Maria. <laughs> Lot of energy. I know that you Americans are really good at making scrabble eggs, but this is how I make my Swedish version. First I use uh, four eggs, then I use just a little water, and some milk. We need some salt. Is it enough? Yeah, I think so. Ah, we take a little more. So, then I want some black pepper. And then I use some chili flakes. Just a few. We mix this together. We heat this pan up with some butter. Then we go. I lift it up a bit. Oh, ta -da! It's ready. Oh, hi. Now we are on our way for our hiking tour. The time schedule is fixed and the budget is in place and I have actually booked our plane tickets to Madrid within the budget. But what is the difference between booking yourself and uh, traveling with a travel agency? I would like to say that you are paying for the work that we are doing now. A travel agency has or should have the knowledge of how it's possible to travel in a good way to and back from the train. They make suggestions and book your journey and can help you if there are changes in your travel schedule. It is not certain that the travel agency have knowledge of all the accommodation that can be found along the train, but they probably work or rather they should work with some hotels and hostels that they can recommend. The travel agency can also arrange transport that you otherwise have to book and find yourself. Of course, the cost of using a travel agency is a little bit higher than when you book yourself. We have used a travel agency once when we were going to do a hiking trip at uh, Portofino in Cinque Terre in Italy and could not find any accommodations. Then the travel agency opened a door for us so that we could find and book hostels that we otherwise could not find and book. It was the key for us to be able to complete our trip. To add is that otherwise we had to take care of ourselves. Regardless if uh, whether you choose to hike alone or with the help of a travel agency, I believe that the actual experience of the hike will be the same or at least as good. If you travel in a group, I think the experience will be different. Maybe your travel group will affect your trip more than if you travel alone. But that can be good too. We have done most of our hiking trips without involving a travel agency. It has been challenging at some times, but also given us a freedom. Things that have come up along the way have we been able to solve ourselves or with the help of others. When you choose how you want to do it, I think you should turn to yourself and ask you these questions. How do I want my trip to be? What do I want 
to experience. What is important to me? Because your journey and experience will be unlike anyone else's. For us, our adventure begins when we lock the door here at home and leave for our journey. We want an adventure and the freedom to be able to influence our journey. But how does it end? We will see. There is no guarantee that we will arrive at the end of the world, but at least we will try. Well, what is a hiking journey? It can be terribly boring. Delayed departures. Wrong path choices. A lot of blisters. And... And... Absolutely fantastic. In the next video, we will look at and select some alberg that we need to pre-book. That was all for this time, but keep following us. We will now start looking at equipment, training and other preparations for our hunt. And who knows what things we come up with in our everyday life. Remember to support the channel by subscribing and sharing this video with your friends. See you soon.